Hi, so there's been another alpha build and there's been more changes to classes, including the Retribution Paladin. What I'm going to do in this video, normally there's an update A and an update B. Update A, I just go through the changes. Update B, I show you some gameplay in a dungeon and I add some commentary to that. This time there's going to be an update C. I am going to go over the changes today, then we're going to do a dungeon uh, gameplay one. That'll probably be out on Thursday or Friday. And then I'm going to do an update C, which is a much more detailed look at how we are now playing. That will come out at the weekend. Here we go. So, big change so far. Mastery. Mastery is completely changed. Mastery, just to remind you, mastery in live, of course you know, means that certain abilities like crusader strike and templar's verdict and divine storm do extra holy damage by an amount equal to our mastery percentage then in world of general on the last build they changed it so it just did extra damage which means if it was a physical damage dealer like crusader strike it would do extra physical damage so not quite as good now they've got rid of that altogether. It's completely changed. Even the name has changed. It's now called Mastery Divine Judgment, not Hand of Light. And it buffs our judgment, debuff. Remember, the way in Legion it works, our judgment is no longer a holy power generator. It does damage. It's still ranged. It is very important. It applies a debuff to the enemy. And if we have mass judgment, it applies a debuff to all enemies near the target as well. It lasts for six seconds, and it means we do 30% extra damage whenever we use any holy power spender or consumer. Uh, sorry, uh, any holy power... Blimey, put my teeth back in. Holy power generator or spender. So the holy power generators are Crusader Strike and Blade of Justice, and the spenders was now quite a few of them. I'm going to go over that in a minute. So that's buffed by our mastery now. But so judgment at the moment on my 108 level paladin with quest gear, enemies will take 89% increased damage. Whoa, that's a lot. That's nearly double damage. So it means when that judgment debuffers up, you need to be using your most powerful abilities. Now at the moment, of course, it's very difficult to know exactly how it will play because... They have not altered our haste values, our haste buffs from zeal or seal of light. So we are still having very high um, haste, which means that we will also have as near as damn it, if not actually, full uptime on that debuff. So that wouldn't actually change our play at the moment, other than making sure we use judgment effectively on cooldown. But let's say we can't keep 100% up let's say we can only keep about 80 percent up we have to be very very careful in the little gaps between the judgment debuff going on that we are not using very powerful uh, abilities because we will be wasting damage so that's a very interesting thing warriors would recognize this as colossus smash it is effectively the same thing now i mentioned holy power uh, consumers of course, we know about Templar's Verdict and we know about Divine Storm. Those are our main damage dealing ones. We've also known, if you've been keeping an eye on Legion, about Holy Wrath. This is very similar. Um, it's a bit like Templar's Verdict, only it's Chalon, uh, Channel. Sorry, um, It does more damage, but it is Channel, so you're losing time. And it does 50% additional damage to a stun target, so actually it could be really good there. And it heals you. And it heals you for a reasonable amount. It heals you for as much as it does damage. And remember, this will presumably also be buffed by the Judgment debuff. But there's another one now. We have another Holy Power Consumer. Damage dealing Holy Power Consumer is. I'm not classing Seal of Light. That's a buff. Execution Sentence has changed. In the last build, it does what it did in live... Um, but it was had a 10-second 10, 10 cooldown, so you keep it up all the time. Now, it works differently in three ways. One, it costs holy power. Two, it has a 20-second cooldown, so it's like up half the time. You still want to be aiming to use this off cooldown, because it does a lot of damage. And three, if 
looking at the tool tip, it is suggesting here, instead of doing a little bit of damage which ramps up and up and up, it just does all its damage after 10 seconds. So that hammer comes down, does no damage, does no damage, does no damage. 10 second, bang, all the damage. Now, it doesn't necessarily change a great deal because we knew that it did most of the damage on the last tick anyway, as it was before and as it is in live. But that basically means we, we are going to be using this thing. We need to make sure that that judgment debuff is on the target when that thing hits, when that 10 seconds is up. Oh my god, a treasure goblin. A demon, sorry. Um, in fact, let's have a look at a bit of impromptu. Let's see if I can stun it. There. There's our thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep up the judgment debuff. Got the seal of light. What is my haste value at the moment? 151. Massive haste value. Oh, look. Pick up all the coins, all the coins. Did I get any coins? I did. Okay, enough distractions. So we could see there I've got now over 150% haste. That is no problem keeping this up. Okay. Um, that's My haste has now gone down. You only need 100% haste realistically to be able to keep up judgment pretty much all the time. Over 100% haste easily. I don't think they're going to keep these haste values the same. That is one thing that's changed. Eye for an eye has also changed. A lot of people were complaining in the last build that either you should remove the cooldown or you should remove the holy power cost. In the last build, it had this one minute cooldown, but it cost three holy power. They've now removed, they've listened. Great. Can you now listen about greater blessings, what we're saying about those? But okay, Bliss, thanks very much. You did listen to people on this one. It now doesn't cost holy power. It is just a one minute cooldown. Doesn't really cost anything. Just gives you that physical damage reduction. Probably, again, still more for PvP because in PvE you are going to use Execution Sentence or Consecration. Consecration is still as it was before. No change there. In terms of the Crusader Strike tier, no change here. That's fine. The Crowd Control, no change here. Fist of Justice is still likely the way to go. Repentance is... Meh. Blinding Light is absolute tosh. No real change here either. This is still as it was. Now, on this tier, okay, final verdict is still the same. The quality uh, is still the same. Mass judgment is still the same. But on the next tier, divine intervention has changed a little bit. Our cheat death, is still it still works in the same way as it did before. But it also reduces the cooldown of our divine shield. So it has a passive ability in that it reduces the cooldown of divine shield. But it also means if we are not using Divine Shield, but waiting for ourselves to die to it procs and procs the Divine Shield, we can use it twice as often. So we can actually have a cheat death mechanic that can be used every two and a half minutes, potentially. Um, divine Steed is still Divine Steed. Hopefully they've fixed the bug, which means it doesn't work indoors, even though it says here. But it is still what it is. Our only movement speed increase on a one minute cooldown for four seconds. Mm. Blaze of Light is still Blaze of Light. It buffs our Flash of Light, as if anyone gives a monkeys about that. Um, and these are still the same as well. So there have not been many changes, but the changes that we have had will potentially have a significant effect on our gameplay. Now, as I've already said, because of this mastery change, at the moment I can keep Judgment debuff up all the time anyway. And, you know, someone was suggesting, well, maybe they're doing that to make us prioritise Judgment we would have prioritised Judgment anyway, even at a 30% increase in damage from our Holy Power Generators and Spenders. Um, <clears throat> we would have still prioritised Judgment to keep that debuff as much as possible. The biggest change, I would argue, is with the Execution Sentence. Because before, it didn't benefit from the Judgment debuff because it wasn't a Holy Power Spender or Generator. Now it's a Spender. Now that's a big thing because it means that we are going to need to make sure that debuff was up for it to get our lovely extra 89% damage from it. And of course, this is holy damage. That is pure damage. 271,000 damage at this point. Just to compare that with this Templars Verdict, which is buffed by Final Verdict, does 74,000 damage, also holy. So this is a better use of three holy power. Yes. Oh, yes. But of course, you can only do it every 20 seconds three times a minute but still you do want to use that when it is available just make sure that's there will that cause a tracking problem it depends how much we can keep up the judgment debuff it is quite likely 
that zeal and seal of light will still give us haste just presumably a lower amount of haste okay than it currently is doing it still might mean with minimal haste on gear that we can get a very respectable haste value which means that we can keep up the judgment debuff even if it's not 100 percent 100 percent for all practical purposes because remember you have got little global cooldowns as long as you're not using anything big like i would say blade of justice or templar's verdict or having the execution sentence hit during the gaps then you're okay i mean if during the gap between the debuffs you're applying a seal of light or just using a crusader strike from zeal or something like that then okay the other thing to consider is surely they are if, again if we look at this at the moment crusader flurry and fires of justice why would you ever use these pointless everyone will be using this so blizzard have either got to really tone down the um buff that we get from zeal because at the moment it's it's the cleave choice it's what we're supposed to use in a cleave situation but we would use this in single target as things stand now that means they've either got to nerf that which i think they will or they've got to buff these maybe have all of them grant maybe just have crusader strike grant haste whatever um because this is too obvious the choice to take even in single target at the moment so those are the changes uh put your comments below what you think of that some people might like these changes some people might be a little bit worried as i say the b which will be coming out either tomorrow if you're watching this as soon as i put it out it'll be either tomorrow be thursday the 26th or 25th sorry apologize um, or Friday the 27th um, is when the dungeon gameplay will go out where I'll do a dungeon, um, use these abilities, see how they're playing, see if there's any major differences. And then at the weekend, I'm going to go through a much more detailed look at how you would actually play the Paladin in Legion if these abilities stayed as they are. Until then, uh, I'll see you later. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you don't like, please comment. Thank you very much.